Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing another cooking with Lex. And in today's video, we are going to be making healthy gluten and dairy free banana peanut butter muffins. So hopefully this is something you guys would be interested in making at home. And if not, hopefully you guys enjoy watching me make it. So let's get started. Hopefully it turns out well. So I went and got groceries at, not at home like <laughs> I did go there though. Um, let's move this out of the way. <laughs> Exposed. All the ingredients that I got at HEB include oat flour, semi sweet chocolate chips, we got some cupcake liners, three bananas. It's good if they're a little bit brown because that means that they're more ripe, especially because we're using them today. And some coconut oil to spray to make sure that they do not stick. Also got baking powder, peanut butter, vanilla, honey. Doesn't really matter what brands of these you get. And then ground cinnamon. Also, we have eggs in the fridge and oat milk, which we are going to be using. Okay, so earlier I said that this was going to be all dairy free, but our chocolate chips actually are not. So if you use dairy free chocolate chips, then yours will be dairy free, but mine is not going to be. I'm going to link the recipe down below so you guys can easily have access to it if you guys would like. If you would like to make this recipe peanut free, if you do have a peanut allergy, you can substitute it for, substitute the peanut butter for almond butter. For the first step, I'm going to mash up these three bananas into this bowl. We're going to use a fork to mash the bananas. Mine are obviously not ripe enough. Whenever you're done, it should look like this. Now that we have our mashed bananas, we are going to go ahead to step two. Okay, so the next step is to add in three fourths cups of natural peanut butter. This is what it's looking like so far. For step three, we're going to add in two large eggs. One egg. There's two. Okay, so I forgot the most important step as per usual. I forgot to preheat the oven. So um, step four, preheat the oven. The oven is supposed to be preheated to 350. Next up, the recipe calls for maple syrup, but I don't have any maple syrup, so I'm going to be using honey. So we're gonna do a fourth cup of honey. Next, we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Next, we're going to mix in half a tablespoon of your milk of choice. Next, we're going to mix in the oat flour. The question is how much oat flour? We're going to mix in one cup of oat flour. This is going to be a mess. Got the oat flour. Mess up is very powdery. We're going to mix in 
one half teaspoon of cinnamon. There's the cinnamon. We need one teaspoon of baking powder for the less thing. And then we're going to just mix and then put the chocolate chips in last. All right, so the next step, we're just going to mix these ingredients. Smells really good. Okay, so next we're just going to grab our baking pan. Go ahead and add in the baking sauce. I got these cute little polka dot ones. But we'll do four with no chocolate chips and then the rest of them will have chocolate chips. We're gonna go ahead and spray this. Do not forget to spray it with non cook with non-stick cooking spray. So next up, we are going to just go ahead and pour the ones that are not going to have. Any chocolate? Now we're going to add in the chocolate chips. So we're gonna do one third cup. These are supposed to be mini chocolate chips, but I accidentally got regular ones, so. Okay, so this is what they look like. We actually don't have enough in this pan, but it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna wipe this off. And we're gonna go ahead and pop them in the oven. It's actually pretty tasty. Don't do this at home. We pop them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they are finished cooking. So we're just gonna keep an eye on them and I'll come back to you whenever we're finished. Mm. This is actually so good. So these are the ones without chocolate chips, obviously. There's the ones with chocolate chips. They're baking quite nicely. They have about four minutes left. What they look like. Don't forget to turn the oven off. I'm gonna put them on a plate and take a photo of them. But they look so good. They smell so good as well. So I just took my first bite and they're actually really good. I don't think they'll be as good without the chocolate chips. So if you don't like chocolate chips, I might would recommend maybe doing peanut butter chips in it or any kind of thing. Obviously that's gonna make it a little less unhealthy or it's gonna make it a little bit more unhealthy, a little less healthy, but the chocolate chips definitely, you know, get you there. Um, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you would like to see me cook next. And if there's anything you didn't like about the video, just go ahead and give it a dislike. Let me know what you didn't like about it. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe.